Okay, folks, let's uh, go ahead and uh, talk about creating these complex cues before actually we continue doing our uh, motion. And if I hit play, you can see we have two type of complex cubes. This uh, type that, as you can see, our cube is made up of our uh, of a very smaller cubes, you can see. And the second type, which is this uh, cubes, which is uh, kind of uh, uh, like this, you see there and the uh, pieces are coming together and finally uh, create the final uh, cube there, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, work on uh, those two types. I'm gonna show you how to do that really quickly. Uh, and let's go ahead and start working on this, guys. So I'm going to, this is our first type. So I'm gonna type 190, make sure you have uh, selected all the X, Y, and Z. So Control and Enter. And then I'm going to enable the fillet, two centimeter. There we go. Great. So the next thing is to kind of uh, hit C to convert this. Let's go to our front view. I'm going to select my uh, edge components here and I'm going to select the rectangular selection. Make sure you have tolerance selection enabled and only select visible element turn off. I'm going to select all of the edges and hit MF and edge cut tool. I'm going to disable this value. I'm going to something like um, maybe 10 in this case. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it and uh, so let's go something like 10 here and let's go ahead and apply that and the next thing is to go ahead and select these polys and separate them so I'm going to go ahead and select this first guys hold on control and deselect this type uh, this part and hit U and P to split now you, you can see we have another uh, set of uh, another cube so select the second raw and hit U P select the third draw hold on control up and you continue doing this until you have separated so let's uh, go ahead and hold on control and again up and we're going to be doing this for uh, all the parts so let's go ahead up and up let's go to this part also and finally just make sure let's hold on control and remove this selection and hit up now we have 10 extra parts and we can go ahead and let's go ahead and hide everything and work this is our original cube so okay now we can uh, now simply go ahead and basically close this polys because if you go ahead and for example select this guy you can see it has no polys uh, in its upper or uh, bottom section so let's go ahead and create those polys for all of them and basically close them uh, and lock them down so I'm going to go to my poly and go to my MD to my uh, basically close poly tool and let's go ahead and do this for other parts perfect let's go ahead and here we go and let's go ahead and select and create the other guys there we go it's closed so select this guy and perfect and let's go ahead and select this one and close it hide it unhide this one and do this for all of your cubes now this type the uh, this type that we are working on is kind of simple to create but the next type uh, which was very very small cubes it's gonna be much more complex uh, I mean not really much more complex it's gonna be very time-consuming for you if you want to create it even though I'll be providing the model and you don't have to do it but uh, if you had to do it, it would actually take a lot of time to actually create. So let's go ahead and uh, unhide everything. And now we have this nice polys. Let's go ahead and hide the original cube. And now we can go ahead and simply apply some sort of fracture and stuff like that that we're going to be doing in the next lesson and uh, kind of move these uh, pieces and separate them. Uh, so you can see very simple. Now we have all of these parts. Uh, basically making our cube here. Now this is our first type. So I'm going to alt G this is our first step now the second tab let's go ahead and create another 
uh, cube here and uh, exactly the same size, so 190 centimeter, fillet 2 centimeter, and I'm going to go hit NB to go to my garage shading lines. And then I'm going to add some segments. Uh, now we're going to be re uh, recreating basically these guys. Now, uh, right now we're going to be trying to kind of create this guy. You can see there are small cubes. Uh, and as I said, it's really going to time be time consuming and we're not going to be able to create this whole thing. Even though I'm going to uh, providing you with the uh, this model and these pieces. And you can use it uh, simply in your design but generally speaking uh it's gonna be really time consuming let me show you how we are going to be doing this first of all uh, you define how many cubes you want let's go to six and six and six for all of our uh all of the uh, sides here and the next thing is to kind of uh, convert this so let's hit c there we go now let's go ahead and uh, split uh this part so let's go ahead and go to the let's go ahead and select these guys there we go now that's what we have at the moment I'm going to hit U and P and this is uh, we have basically split at this part I'm going to uh, hide this original version and now we have this uh, uh, basically side alone and now we're going to separate each and every one of these cubes you know so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to hit M and D and close this poly and then I'm going to hit K to my knife tool, make sure it's online. And I'm going to basically uh, connecting these uh, vertices together. So let's go ahead and uh, there we go. Let's start here and come up there. And just make sure it snaps. You can see when you uh, hover our point, it kind of highlights it. And then you can click and drag until you get another vertex and let's go ahead and do that there we go now let's do it vertic uh, horizontally let's go ahead and do that so let's see there we go perfect now let's go ahead and see what we can do here and uh, I'm going to now select these polys and see what we are going to uh, be doing let's go ahead and separate this time this side here so let's go ahead to uh, here and I'm going to hit U and P again okay let's go ahead and hide this guy and now we are here again we need to close the polys for this guy so I'm gonna hit an M, M and D and then again use the knife tool and let's go ahead and connect this guy so just let's see there we go and perfect now you have this and you are going to split it again I mean it's a very time consuming process but the good thing is let me uh, just walk you through a few of these guys so let's go ahead and uh, maybe select these polys here and then you hit U and P again and let's go ahead and hide this one and simply you have this poly and you go to MD and just make sure and you can close it and let's go ahead and hide this unhide this and let's go ahead and select maybe these guys this time and hit U and P let's go ahead and hide this and select this and uh, simply go to your close poly tool and there we go now you have two of these guys very simply and you can go ahead and create uh, as many as you want really simply so uh, the axis point is right now here so you can see it's very simple and we basically have created uh, two of these cubes now if you take a look at the original cube here let's go ahead and unhide that you can see what you can do I mean if you want to go through and create all of those cubes it's gonna be forever you got uh, about six cubes here, six cubes there, six cubes down. Uh, it's a, a huge number, I guess. It's about 200, 220, something like this. And it's really going to be time consuming. But what you can uh, do, guys, is, uh, for example, when you create this uh, a raw here, one, two, three, four, five, six of these guys, you can go ahead and simply control drag them and copy them, and this raw will be created. And you go ahead and do the whole thing. And uh, when you, for example, are in this side and you're working on this uh, raw here, this 
uh, guys here and you finish one you can go ahead and copy it down uh, and create a few copy and if you create this uh, one whole column here this uh, is about 36 of these guys you can go ahead and simply copy the whole raw one two three times and uh, here you're going to be able to just copy them and it's going to be very simple uh, so this is the way i did it originally and it was a bit quicker but uh, generally speaking it's a really time consuming process when you want to have this nice and custom cubes and this is unfortunately the only way to do it i don't uh, i'm not aware of any plugin that's gonna be able to do that but generally speaking this is the way you are going to be uh, doing it you don't have to do it because i'm going to provide you with the model which uh, is, is going to be just uh, this uh, one and the also uh, this uh, small cube so this one and the uh, second type which is going to be uh, this one here okay so uh, in the next lesson, we're going to start putting these guys into our uh, motion and see uh, how we can kind of animate them using Fracture and integrate them with our whole motion. So see you there.